What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about five tips that are going to make you strike your skills in cinematography. To be honest, there's a whole lot of tips and tricks on this field, but these five tips, I wish I knew them when I started. First is recording on the shadow side. Recording on the shadow side, meaning always put the camera on the darkest spot of your object. Do not go right where the light is, right where the light is shining into. I see a lot of that uh, when I'm in films and film sets or I see another person recording or they invite me to a shoot. Always record on the darkest spot of the shot. It's like right now, if you see my shot, you can see that my right side is my dark shot. My camera's on the right side, my key light is on the left side, and I got a background light. The background light is just create depth. Also, this recording on the, on the shadow side, it creates depth, contrast, shadows, and you need shadows in your videos. It, shadows create emotion, you know? My second tip is plan out your shots always plan out your shots meaning before you go to the shoot days before not the same day days before you go to the shoot please plan out your shot grab paper go to your computer anywhere type it down it don't matter script your shots always do not sharpen your shots why this will save you so much time when it comes down to post-production work. When you're editing, it will save you a ton of time. You won't have to jump back and look into this and look into this other clip and look into this other clip. And another thing is that when you're on the set, you won't have to be jumping around um, trying to get a different shot in that moment, which that's what you call a shotgun video, you know? So yeah, that's my second tip. My third tip is always take three shots of the planned shot that you had. A wide shot, a close shot, and a mid shot. This will help you get every frame that you think is possibly be best for that shot. Obviously, a close shot creates emotions, creates more emotions. Uh, a mid shot, it creates emotion, but you, uh, also include the, th that depth of uh, including other people, more uh, interaction in the video, you got more space. In the wide shot, you're including subject, ambience, and a whole bunch of stuff. This will also help you when it comes down to always start out with your widest shot. So you can set up all the lighting for that shot and then work with it throughout you waking your way up through the mint and close up. This will help you out a ton. This will save you a ton of time on planning out those three shots and starting with the widest shot. My fourth tip is learn how to separate your subject to be the main focus. How do you do that? There's a lot of ways that you can do that. And one of those is lighting. Or you can do this too. Be the darkest subject in your film. You see how now my light just turned off and I got the main focus right when I wanted it. You see? And it's, it created that silhouette uh, film, uh, silhouette uh, figure. This can also help you. It doesn't have to be the brightest subject in the, in the film, in the video, but it can also be the darkest. It's just something that makes it stand out because my fifth tip is learn how to complement artificial light and learn how to complement natural light. One thing with artificial light, I've seen a lot of these uh, uh, problems and I went through them myself that when I went to a shoot and uh, my shot, I wanted to be a certain weight, but I put another color that did not mean nothing at all 
with the feeling and the vibe of the video. You can't um, you can't do a uh, red when it's a uh, when you're in a sunset or not in a sunset. I mean uh, on a on a rainy day. You can't apply those colors on those type of scenarios. Well, in my opinion, I wouldn't. You know why? Because color creates emotion, just like shadows. It all that creates emotions. Certain movements, you know, a slowdown, a pan, up, you know, all those things goes into learning how to basically make things go with the vibe of the video, make it feel emotional, have a backstory behind the video, you know? Because without these five tips, I wish I knew them, but I didn't know them, and now I'm sharing it with you guys, so please take advantage of this and learn from this, okay? Last but not least, before I leave, I know it's a, it's a little long right now, but before I leave, I want you guys to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, and leave in the comment down below where I should do next, alright? And we out.